What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm talking about the Atlanta Hawks. Pre-recorded this video and then the DeJounte Murray trade happened, so we're doing it again. Um, but feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you think the Hawks should do now that they have DeJounte Murray. And let's preview their offseason now um, and see what they can do. So let's pull it up here. We're going to mess up and have the Spurs first, but I'm going to select Atlanta here in just a moment. Here it is. All right. Dlon Wright, Lou Williams, Gorgie Jang, Timothy Lawaru, Cabarro. These are the guys that are their unrestricted free agents. <clears throat> Can't imagine that they'll keep Williams or Delon Wright, especially after this DeJounte Murray move. So don't really nothing to say there. Jang is interesting, but I don't know if they'll keep him. And Kevin Knox and Sharif Cooper and Skylar Mays are all restricted free agents. This is um kind of a point where I'm like wondering exactly what they'll do with Knox. Obviously, they acquired Kevin Knox last year um, in the trade where they sent Cam Riddish to the Knicks. So um, I don't know if they value him too much. Not a whole lot of minutes were given to him at all. So I'd anticipate that they probably let him go. Um, and, you know, we go from there. Non-guaranteed. Obviously, Danilo Gallinari has his contract guaranteed and now is going to be sent to the San Antonio Spurs along with a lot of draft picks. Did a separate live stream video reaction to that DeJounte Murray trade. So go ahead and check that out um, if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, so that's all we'll speak about Danilo, uh, more information in that video. Let's talk about extension eligible players, Bogdan Bogdanovich and DeAndre Hunter. These are two players that I think are important uh, to kind of really prioritize if you're Atlanta. And that doesn't necessarily mean getting a deal done. It could mean that you trade them away to a different team. But what is Bogdan's future there? And with DeAndre Hunter having so many injuries throughout his career, what exactly is his future in Atlanta? Um, so give me Bogdan, Bogdanovich, and DeAndre Hunter to be two names on this Atlanta roster that they could potentially move. And now that they have DeJounte Murray, what does Bogdan, DeAndre Hunter, and John Collins, and Clint Capella, and maybe you want to throw in a Cam Reddish or Jalen Johnson, um, or anybody else like that. There is a move out there that I think they can make. We'll see if they do it. There's also a Nico Kongwu. Like, I think you move him if you feel like you can get a significant upgrade. But by no means do I expect them to do that. Uh, I ultimately just think that they'll be good on their own. Um, trade candidates for this team. Let's, uh, let's throw up... Let us throw up the uh, the cap sheet here in one moment. Okay, Atlanta. I don't know why that looks way different from yesterday, but Atlanta. This is these are their picks. Okay, can we back out one more? Yeah, that's better. All right, so Atlanta. This is their situation now. Okay. This has already built in the fact that they have DeJounte. So DeJounte is their fourth highest paid guy here. That's insane. Their fifth highest paid guy. Crazy. His contract was valuable, and it actually seems like he uh, did not want to sign the extension with San Antonio, um, and that is that. So already mentioned some trade candidates. I won't really hash on that too much. Defense, perimeter defense. I think Atlanta has a they, they're in need of a defensive kind of rebuild um i think a lot of people were excited about deandre hunter being that guy he just hasn't been Clint capella is good but i don't know if he's you know he's he is getting older and i don't know if he's worth having especially if there's a guy in the future that you think could be a better addition to this team um, that you could potentially move capella for collins as well like not known as like a defensive crazy defensive player so this team and then we all know the story about trey uh trey young so this team is lacking defense uh so if they can add that in free agency that would be really interesting now their uh their cap situation is a little bit different um they actually save money with this danilo gallinari trade which is like amazing so they're saving money they have uh, a little bit more in cap space if you will even though they're over the cap um, but their cap hit isn't as hard, I should say. Now with Gallinari gone and DeJounte Murray coming in, it's about a 5 to $6 million difference just between their contracts. So pretty crazy there. Um, no other additional moves other than trades can really happen with Atlanta. So I'd anticipate that they go and try to just sign guys off to the 
you know, veteran minimum and really use Trey Young and DeJounte Murray and a pretty good starting five um, as kind of the big, big kind of key thing to, to say to free agents that are maybe on the fence of joining them or, you know, L.A. or wherever it may be um, for them. Here are some names that have come up um, in rumors. We obviously know about DeJounte Murray, um, Harrison Barnes, Rudy Gobert, Zach Levine, DeAndre Ayton. These guys are probably gone off the list of acquire, acquirable players. Although, if they could send DeAndre Hunter, Capella, and John Collins for Rudy Gobert, and their big three is Young, DeJounte Murray, and Rudy, I think that would be fantastic for this team. Um, but we will ultimately see. Um, but there's other guys that also are on their radar. I know Gary Payton, the second, Bruce Brown, Victor Oladipo, Kyle Anderson, PJ Tucker, Nicolas Batum. So whatever you know, they you know they might find on the open market. I think it's worth investing and in, worth looking into a little bit more. So, uh, what do you guys think? Atlanta, free agency, trades. What's going to happen now that they have Dejounte Murray and Trey Young as their guard backcourt of the future? Uh, let me know in the comments section. Also, feel free to check out our other videos that we're doing for all 30 NBA teams and their offseason previews. And other than that, we'll see you in the next video.